the tables are turning, your eyes are opening. Welcome to the revolution. The people crying out for justice. Some of them crying out for freedom. Everybody crying out for democracy. Now it's the Good evening, my UNC family. Onward to the road to victory to rescue the country from the evil Rowley and the BNM. One party, one leader, united to a brighter future. Victory with Kamala. Well, let me tell you only one time. I ain't come here for no small talk. I ain't come here for I come here for real talk. With facts and figures, with my loud mouth and sweat pouring off my brow. I come with passion, truth, and patriotism. So, UNC people, let me see you clap with your hands up. Prepare for victory to rescue we country. Boxing is a sweet science, but a brutal sport. A man from Tobago who put his life on the line for the red, white, and black, who went to the world and said, we are great and we are not afraid of you. We can match you with skill, offense, and defense. We can match you with fitness and agility. And he brought the world title to Trinidad and Tobago, brought pride and glory to our country. We all cheered and celebrated Claude Noel. But yesterday, we all shed a tear as we saw our national hero become yet another casualty of the heartlessness, carelessness, disrespect, and disregard of Keith Rowley's arrogant PNM. Claude Noel cried for help, cried for help that did not come. Just like our citizens cry for help across this country, and help does not come from the PNM. Claude Noel's cries mirror our cries. Trinidad and Tobago is a beautiful country with amazing people, but under the PNM cult, Trinidad and Tobago is not a real place. For if Trinidad and Tobago was a real place, no prime minister, no minister in charge of children could receive a report on December 13, 2021, showing evidence of abuse of the worst types occurring in homes financed and funded and approved by the PNM government where children are being battered, beaten, buggered, burned with cigarettes, and for 14 and a half months, these miscreant PNM have done nothing to protect children. If you cannot love children, you are truly evil. On the other hand, on the road to victory, you see a prime minister, former prime minister and leader of the opposition. The very first thing she did as she sat down to chair her first cabinet was ensure that children will no longer have to die because they didn't have money for surgery. That is a leader that we need. That is a leader who cares. You just saw Barry show you a minister in the ministry of the prime minister office of the prime minister lying and stating that the children's authority is not under resource but we read this week that not only the judiciary and the dpp but the children's authority is operating at 25 percent of its hr quotient of its workforce think about that report abuse children being criminally battered, beaten, and abused, and the PNM have 75% capacity diminished for an authority designed to protect children. How could that be right? Trinidad and Tobago could never be a real place. The same government 
that has always overseen the increases in crime across Trinidad and Tobago. Every time they come into power, any government that was there before and made strides to impact the crime situation, to increase border patrols, border protection, air guard, helicopters, the judiciary, the DPP's office, giving funding to the fight against crime in every ministry. The PNM comes, thwarts all the gains, and sends us backwards. We are now suffering from 2022, 614 murders in this year already. Out of 57 days, we are up at 115 murders and there is no respite, no hope, no pause, no belief that anything will change. The judiciary is understaffed. The DPP's office is working at 35%. The Attorney General's office is led by an incompetent liar who does not know what his job is. And we realize that even in the private sector, he did not know how to win a case. We see in the judiciary, in the crime situation, as blood flows across Trinidad and Tobago, we can see the cries of Claude Noel. Those cries mirror our cries. Trinidad and Tobago is a beautiful country with amazing people. But under the PNM cult, Trinidad and Tobago is not a real place. Onward to victory. The road to victory is clear. It's paved in the rising sun, yellow, under the leadership of Kamala Pasad Bisesa. We must all unite to bring victory. We see that the supporters, the very supporters who may never vote for Anil the Dogla or Yellow in Lavanti. Some people say, Anil, don't say that. Well, I always live in hope. Maybe they will wake up. But even if they don't wake up, for years the UNC has said, the PNM under Rowley, the elitists, those who pull Rowley's string from Goodwood Park, his neighbors, who he knocks glass with in the night, that they were coming for Lavanti, they were coming for the hills, they were coming to throw all the poor black people out and bring in their friends and family for sheep, and it is happening in front of me! So what's in Duke, me and no, if you're now hearing and seeing because your toes are free to go in your socks. But understand this, the UNC has been fighting for the people of Lavanti and people across this whole country on this gentrification issue for over a year and a half. So don't call and pretend that you now come. You now wake up. From 400 scholarships in Trinidad and Tobago to 100. Anyone who cannot respect the merit and the hard work of children is not human, is not a person who can be respected. Anyone who would try to take away from children what they deserve, what they have sacrificed for, in order to give someone else who did not or is not as deserving, is an evil human being. Keith Rowley is an evil human being. <laughs> Kamala Pasad B. says I had 400 scholarships across the board, increasing it under Patrick Manning from 150 to 400 and was going to increase it to 600. She increased funding for GATE, increased foot sport funding, scholarships for sport across the board to give our children who deserved it the opportunity. And when scholarships results came out, it was in October of the same year. The PNM give 300 less scholarship, but take five months longer to give it. Why? Because any time you take long, it has skull in it. They have senators of the PNM who got benefits of $500,000 from a scholarship fund under the PNM, Joan Yule Williams. They were so dunce, they could not even pass the exam. They waste the half a million dollars. And now they're calling themselves senators and ministers and telling the, the, the president of the Senate that Anil told us to go and scratch. Go and scratch and come out of the people's government. 
Claude Noel's Christ, mirror our Christ. Trinidad and Tobago is a beautiful place, a beautiful country with amazing people. But under the PNM cult, Trinidad and Tobago is not a real place. Four divers stuck in a pipe for 39 hours. We just saw over the last month first re responders in Turkey and Syria. People, neighbors, risking their lives without any information in dangerous situations where buildings could collapse on them at any point and did not know if they were going in to save alive people, live bodies, or if they were going to get cadavers. We saw the human spirit in Turkey and Syria, yet in the PNM, in Paria, in Trinidad and Tobago, with full intelligence that people were alive, they left them to die. I said fire, but Rowley. Fire fun barrier, fire fun DPNF, onward the victory with Gamla. In my last five minutes, I have to say, let me take off my glasses with this one. Let me wipe my brow. Let me say, boy, Faris, 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 you thought you escaped Faris. No, Faris. I call on Erla Christopher, the new female commissioner, that when issues come up, you want to investigate. I say somebody message Erla now and tell she, listen now, Erla Christopher, there's an investigation for you to do, madam. I would like you to investigate the case of the missing Porsche. Ah, remember. There was an issue brought up by the UNC about Faris al Rawi when Kamala Pasad Bisesa showed that he did not transfer, that he gave a Porsche or sold in Votis Commerce to Roger K. Walsing, the lawyer of the Nelson man, the man who is the prostitute of the legal profession. You pay he wherever you want, he say yes, you have on yellow. If you pay him more, he say no, it's red. That Nelson man, K. Walsing, the UNC brought out that he had not transferred the car in five years. You have two weeks. It's illegal not to do that. That's breaking the law. Faris came out and said, no, no, look, a check, a check without any stamp, without any bank, without anything. And the papers print that as if it was something. That car was PCY84. Remember it carefully, you know. PCY84, a brown 2012 Porsche. The, the UNC asked Faris in the parliament, Faris, what is this going on? Did you declare this? And hear what Faris said. And I want you to listen carefully. And I ask you, do you feel it was a slip of the tongue when you hear it? Or was it designed to play smart with foolishness? Listen to Faris al Rawi in the parliament on the answer. I can tell you that at item six here is what is described and filed at the integrity commission a porsche cayenne pcs 84 whose name held declarant faris al rawi 600,000 proceeds of sale sold and it is under the item description of any asset sold and Faris continues now, so when the leader of the opposition comes here to tell the gross untruth, I am telling you, now as a matter of record at the Integrity Commission, I have made all my declarations in writing, and the records of the Integrity Commission will show that. But then a little lower down right here, Faris went on, and hear what he said. Let us go further, Madam Speaker. It is a matter of record that the Integrity Commission wrote to me on January 29, 2021, when the issue came up, and that asked me to confirm that the sale of that same vehicle, PCY84, declared to them, them since 2016, was to be included under the headline gains and profits disposal of motor vehicles if all you're paying attention you would have heard in one paragraph pcs 84 and in another one pcy 84. faris al rawi were you the owner of pcs 84 a 2010 black porsche 
And did you in 2016, around January or February, sell it to one Zahir Muhammad or any other citizen for $600,000? Therefore, Faris, and Ola, listen carefully. Did you sell two Porsche in early 2016? PCS84 and PCY84? Therefore, Faris, on your integrity form, you should have had not 600,000, but 1.2 million, because 2 by 600 equal 1.2 million. If you sold one to Zahir Mohammed, which is a 2010 black Porsche PCS84, and you claim that you sold the other one to Kewal Singh Nelson daughter, daughter, Nelson friend and lawyer, PCY84, then Faris, you miss one. Because you sell too, but you play games in the parliament, reading out from your form about PCS, which you declared correctly because you had sold and received 600,000. Let me also ask you, Ferris, since we're talking to you, if you have a 2010 Porsche and that is 600,000, how a 2012 could be the same 600,000? I am not depreciation. I think don't work by you. Business ceases to exist where you exist. Faris, answer Faris, and you could tell them, "Hey guys, I got caught. I got caught, guys." So therefore, as I wrap up, I have some questions. I have some questions, Faris. Did you previously own a Porsche Cayenne Black 2010 model PCS 84? Did you sell to Zahir Mohammed or anybody other citizen in early 2016 for 600,000? You claim that you also sold a Porsche Cayenne 2012 model PCY 84 to Brown to Roger Kewal Singh on or about January 15, 2016. Was that declared that number in your integrity forms? Please, Faris, show the two deposits from your bank account in 2016 early, two different separate deposits for 600000 each. If you cannot, Faris, police, boy blue. Also, for the Integrity Commission, just now, give me one minute. Questions for the Integrity Commission. Did Faris al Rawi declare the sale of two Porsches in his 2016 declaration? PCS84 and PCY84. When you wrote Faris, when Kamala Prasad Bissessa brought the issue to the fore, why did you, did you use the words, confirm the same, that at that same vehicle, PCY was to be included under the heading gains and profits? Did you write that? Because Integrity Commission, if a man had declared something properly, I don't see why you're asking him to confirm what he already did. But did it, and we need to get the correspondence. Did you ask him about PCY84 when he had declared only PCS84? Was the registration number of the Porsche declared by Faris al Rawi in fact PCS84? Right. Faris, we want to hear the answers to these questions. Because while you're playing your move and demoted from Attorney General to local government minister, you are in trouble, Faris. Because Faris, failure to declare on your integrity forms is a criminal offense. Failure to send and take money for a vehicle and declare it is a criminal offense. Lying in the parliament, did you mislead the parliament? I now put it to my friends and teammates in the lower house to ask Faris, did he sell two Porsche in 2016? What were the numbers and did he declare them? Faris, you are as corrupt as your government and we must move all the PNM on the road to victory. One party, one leader, yellow and strong. God bless. The voice of the people is the voice.